going to show you how to use the transparency window tool. So I've got this um, iTunes logo and I want to basically make a little uh, reflection off of this CD. So if I take this uh, piece right here first, and I'm going to go ahead and do an alt uh, to duplicate it. And uh, then to kind of make that so it's a little bit more transparent, uh, I'm going to take it and open up my transparency window. If that is not opened, then uh, you can go to uh, window and choose transparency from there to open that up. So from there, now what I can do is I can take that piece and come over here to where it says opacity and change that, and bring it down quite a bit um, on there. You can also play some of the color modes. You might get lucky and get some interesting looking modes on there um, that might help out uh, with that piece on there too. I think I'm just going to leave it at normal for uh, for right now. Uh, and what these modes do, they blend into whatever is underneath them. So the only thing I have to do now is just probably take that and just slip it underneath this object. So if I right mouse click, range, send it to backwards, that should put it uh, behind there and stuff. So and that's how you'd use the transparency uh, window on there. Um, you could just duplicate that and just put that over here too. And you get your little things on there. If you want to make that look a little bit better, you could probably add in a blend um, and kind of fuzz that out a little bit to a white and then play with some of the blending modes. And that would actually look a little bit better. And that's kind of what this one right here has on it. <clears throat> it's got the blending mode. It's got... Um, it kind of fuzzed out a little bit and that one actually has a multiply and the opacity is at 33. So there's quite a bit you can do inside that blending tool. Uh, and that's also the same way that I got this um, rainbow kind of color reflection in there by creating that shape and then uh, blending it in there. So that's the transparency tool.